ago I was contacted by this online shopping site called Cosmedy.com and they asked if I would like to receive some products from them so of course I said yes. So even though this video is kindly sponsored by Cosmedy.com, I was allowed to pick out all the products that I wish to receive so I basically shopped on their website like anyone else would. You know, I read reviews, I look at the shades, I picked out the shades myself. Um, so I'm not paid or asked to specifically say anything or pick any products. So everything you see here are products picked by myself and our opinions that I'm saying is mine. So Cosmody.com mainly offers high-end beauty products at a discounted price so if you're on a hunt for high-end beauty products, you can definitely get them at Cosmody.com at a good deal. If you're looking for an even better deal on Cosmody.com, you can use my discount code right over here and get 15% off your purchases. So they also provide free shipping and it comes with the dispatch date and tracking number and everything. Based on my personal experience, it only took one day for it to arrive. I ordered on Friday and it came on Saturday. So it was really quick. I was so impressed. All the products were well packed individually in bubble wrap as well as these air fill bags. So now we're done with the little introduction of Cosmody.com. Let's move on to see what products I have picked. So as you can tell from the title, this is going to be a high-end makeup haul. So I've never ever owned any high-end makeup products before so I really wanted to take this chance to try out the high-end foundations because I feel like when you're putting on your makeup, the most important part is the foundation because if you have nice eyeshadow and everything and you have a bad foundation, everything is not going to look nice. So I really wanted to try out the foundation, so I have a few here. So the first one I'm looking into is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the shade 4.5. I have heard so much about this foundation, so even though it was really difficult to pick out the shade, because they just offer so many shades, I really wanted to try out. So I spent a lot of time just looking at every single shade like of swatches that I can find online to find the perfect shade for myself. So I ended up with the shade 4.5. So it came in a pretty frosted glass bottle with a pump and I think there's actually quite a decent amount of product in here. So far I'm really pleased with this product because the shade really matches my skin tone and I have it on my face today, it's my very first time wearing it. I did hear that this foundation is not really good for oily skin but I'm not too sure about that because this is the first time I have it on my face. The next foundation we have is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup in the shade Fresco. So when I received the package, this was the first foundation that I opened and swatched on my hand. And to be honest, I've tried many liquid foundations, not high-end ones, but I feel like I've tried a lot that I thought were really good. But when I swatched this on my hand, I was seriously so shocked because it was the silkiest foundation I've ever touched in my life and it was just so light and smooth. Next I've got a powder foundation and it has been many years since I've used a powder foundation as a full on foundation. I've been getting them and using them as a setting powder so this is pretty much what I'm going to do with this powder foundation as well. So this is the YSL Matte Finish and Comfort Radiant Enhancing Press Powder in the shade Pink Beige. So first of all, the packaging is really gorgeous, it's really light and slim, it comes with a suede pouch. One thing I dislike about the packaging is that the puff that comes along with it has to be stored in the suede pouch and not within the compact itself. So if you want to bring it out, you have to bring it out together with the pouch and everything, which I thought was a little waste of space, you know, I don't really bring things in pouches and everything. So I just feel like it would be more convenient if I can put a puff in and just throw this in my bag. So next we have a blush. This is the Givenchy Prismy Blush in the shade 23 Efficiano Peach. So this is a peachy coral blush shade and I just had to get it the moment I saw swatches of it. I have been looking for a good coral peach blush so I think this is it. It's very light but it's definitely beautiful and I feel like it looks very natural and light on the skin. And since it's more of a peach shade, it also has pink tones which is more wearable. Moving on to the last two products, I have some eyeshadow palettes. So the first one I'm looking into is the Chanel Multi Effect Quadra Eyeshadow in the shade 214. I was actually really surprised when this one came because it was actually really small. So I guess that's why it's Chanel, you know, it's expensive and it's small. This eyeshadow palette also came in a sweet pouch and it basically has four different shades of browns and champagne. I chose this shade because for something so expensive, I wanted something that I would definitely wear often and that is shades like this. I will also be creating an autumn look using this eyeshadow palette over at Cosmody.com's YouTube channel so keep a lookout for that. 
So the last eyeshadow palette is from Dior and this is the Dior Design Eyeshadow Palette in the shade 818 Rosy Design. It took me quite a while to pick my favorite shade because all of them look really pretty. I wear a lot of pinks in my eyeshadow so I thought this would be the perfect one for me. So this palette contains 5 shades, 4 of which are shimmery pink and champagne shades and the remaining one is actually a gel type liner. I haven't actually used this palette yet but I'll also be creating a makeup look using this eyeshadow palette over at Cosmeu.com's YouTube channel. So those are all the products I received from Cosmoney.com's. All the products links will be down below if you're interested. And I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye!